Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the class. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, I'm sure. Thank you. Excellent. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the class. Welcome to the new level for intermediate three. Good job. Excellent. I'm happy to see you here, everybody. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the new level for intermediate three. This is the last level in pre intermediate. If you pass this level, then you will go to intermediate okay so in this level guys we need to practice a lot we need to talk a lot all right because after this there are no more pre-intermediate you will go directly to the intermediate level so let's start how was your weekend uh-huh how was your weekend everyone Morning in progress. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nobody talks. I think that I have beginner. Well, no, oh my goodness. Well, um, in my case, I was busy because I had a lot of homework to do. Oh my god! Yeah. So <laughs> it was busy. Uh huh. Justenia, uh, can you give me five minutes with my camera off? please five minutes all right it's okay but then you have to keep it on okay okay thank you okay paola how about you tell me you yes how was your weekend um all right miss thank you okay cool uh-huh and the rest what did you do guys how was your weekend Anything interesting? Relax, teacher. <laughs> it was relaxing? Cool. Nice. All right. Well, everybody, welcome again to the class. Do I have new students who weren't with us in the previous level? Yes? No? Me, coach. Ah, you. What's your name? Azucena. Azucena. Nice to meet you, Azucena. This is your first class or were you in a previous course? This is my first class. Ah, very good. Okay, welcome to the class. Thanks. Anyone else? Any other new student? Me. Carolina. Yes. Carolina, were you in another group or this is your first class? No, this is my first class. First class, actually. Okay, very good. Welcome to the group. Nice to Thanks. see you here. Anyone else? Do we have another new student? Yes, no? I think that the rest, I already know you, right? I already know your faces, everyone. Okay, well, for the ones who don't know me, my name is Clarissa. I will be your teacher in this level. So please, any time that you have questions, if there is something that you don't understand, tell me, okay? I, I will be able to explain again. There is no problem at all. And if you have issues with the connection, with the platform, anything, let me know, okay? So um, let's start because today we have a lot of practice as always. Remember, since the very beginning that participation is evaluated. So I want you to talk a lot. Let me start uh, sharing the presentation, everybody. 
Let's see. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes. yes? Good. Okay, so we are in Pre Intermediate 3. This is our first class. We are going to start with the unit number one. Today is October 2nd. And this is our calendar. We start today. If everything goes well, if we don't have issues, if we don't cancel any class, we are going to be finishing on October 27th. Okay? So I, I expect to everything goes well. So this is our calendar. Uh, we are going to start with the unit number one. At the end of this week, I hope to be studying the unit number two. Remember, next week, we are going to have our first speaking evaluation, all right? And then again, unit number three, then we are going to start the unit number four, unit number five, and at the end, when we are finishing October, we are going to have the second speaking evaluation. I know that right now you don't have the users to the platform yet, but remember when you get the user, we need to start working on the platform, but not yet because you don't have the users. Now also remember the rules, the ones who were with me in the previous level, you already know the news, but the ones who uh, were, they are news students, this is in an information that you have to keep in mind. For example, the first rule is that you need to keep your full names on your profiles here in Zoom. And remember, we write first the last names, and then you need to write your last name, uh, your names, I'm sorry. So in this moment, everybody, please verify your user. Let me verify. I can see, yes, almost everybody. Azucena, I need you to write your full name, please, on your profile in Zoom. Frank Suarez, also, please, write your full name on your profile in Zoom. And I think the other ones already got the full names. Good. So, please, <clears throat> this is something that you have to keep in mind every single day. Okay, because that's the way that I'm going to check attendance. I'm not going to check attendance one by one, like Fulanito present, ah, Fulanita present. No, I'm not going to check attendance like that. Okay, the attendance is verified by the app. Zoom automatically generates the um, attendance. And if you don't write your full names, you are not going to have the attendance, okay? So change the name, please. Another aspect that you already know is camera on during the full class, not only at the beginning, not just for some minutes, no, in the full class. Um, attendance, what is the percentage that we need to get in the attendance? Uh-huh, a hundred? One hundred percent. Yes. And how are we going to get the a hundred percent? Well, first, you need to be connected every single day, okay? The class is just for one hour and a half. That means 90 minutes. How many minutes do you need to be connected in every single class? 90 minutes. 90 minutes okay so if you enter five minutes late <laughs> that means that you already missed five minutes so you are not going to get the 90 minutes you are going to have 85 so be careful always enter on time and leave the class when we finish the class not before now according to the attendance i want to <laughs> I don't know, it is not like a punishment. I just want to tell you guys that in the previous level, I don't know how to say this, but listen, in the previous level, 
this group was one of the groups with the lowest percentage in the attendance. It was one of the lowest, okay? You were like, like this to the close the group, okay? So uh, this is very warning and, and worrying because guys, if we continue with that percentage, they will close this group. Thank God, I mean, they don't close it, but believe me, you were one of the lowest group with the attendance, okay? So I expect that for this level, that is going to change, right? So how can we improve the attendance? First of all, connecting every day. And second, connect the full class, the 90 minutes. The problem is that sometimes some of you say, teacher, I need to leave because I have an emergency. And I want to give an example. Imagine that I am a student and my attendance is bad. I'm not just going to affect myself. I'm affecting the total percentage of the group. So if you are not responsible, you are affecting to your classmates too, okay? So I need you to be responsible. Connect every day and you have to connect the 90 minutes. Is it clear, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Will you be, I mean, I want you to think, hey, I want to be in the group with the best attendance. Do you want to be in the group with the best attendance? Or you want to be the one that say, I know, they are the lowest one. Which group do you want to be? Uh-huh. With the, the best, best attendance. Good. So let's work together, okay? So during the week, I will be sharing with you. If you want, we can do it maybe every Friday or every Wednesday. I will share with you how your attendance is going, okay? And you will see the percentage that you have, so you have to be working on it, okay? Any questions so far about the attendance? No, Everyone? thank you. Okay. Remember, if you have an emergency, if you cannot be connected in the class because you do have to go to somewhere, I mean, I give you the opportunity to connect as a listener. You are not going to be participating in the class, but you will be here and soon will be counting your minutes. All right, so that is another option. Well, another rule, always participate in the class. Remember, no Spanish, okay? We need to try to keep an environment full in English. And of course, complete the platform that for the ones that are new, I'm going to explain the platform later when you already receive the users. Uh, these are the evaluation system. I'm going to give you one homework per week, okay? I'm going to have two speaking evaluations. The speaking evaluations, we do it here in the class. And we are going to have three written exams, but the written exams are not here in the class. They are on the platform, okay? Then I'm going to evaluate the platform. Again, I'm going to explain the platform later when you receive the users. And this participations. Some of you have low score in the previous course in participation. So everybody, I expect that today in this level, we participate more, okay? Participation is not only, ah, I want to be the volunteer. Yes, I evaluate that. But also when we work in groups, when we go to the breakup rooms, that is also evaluated. So any questions so far about the evaluations that we are going to have? 
teacher. Yes. No teacher. Oh, no questions? No. Oh. Okay. Anyone else? Do you have any questions so far? Not really. Okay, please, if you have questions uh, about something, just let me know. Okay, well, I already explained the details that you have to keep in mind. Don't worry, I will be remind, reminding you all these details during the first week. Now, let's start with the class. And remember that I'm not going to send the presentation. So if you need to take notes, you can write it down, you can take a screenshot, but copy, okay? Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, let's start with a review. If you remember in the previous course, we were describing places. Do you remember that? Describing places? Yeah. Yes. 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 We were talking about the city. We were talking about the countries, the places that you would like to visit. So today we are going to continue talking about places. However, today we are going to use different words. But before that, let's start reviewing this topic, countable and uncountables. Do you remember the countables? Yes? No, a little bit? What is the difference between the countables and the uncountables? What do you think? Any idea? For example, uh, the water is uncountable. Okay. Uh -huh. Another example, everybody? How many? How many? And what is that? Countable or uncountable? I think uh -huh. countable. Okay. So, imagine countables are all those things that I can count. For example, cell phone. Can I count the cell phones? Yeah. Yes. yes. I can say one cell phone, two cell phones, three cell phones. What else? Can you give me another example for countables? Apples. Apples, yes. Pencil. Pencil, yes. What else? Notebooks. Notebooks. Computers. Computers. Now, how about the uncountables? As your classmate said, water. Can I count the water? No. All right. Only. I cannot say one water, two waters. No, mm -hmm. that is not possible. Mm -hmm. So, what could be an example of? and countables rice or sugar rice or? yes sugar salt what else milk star mm -hmm. good so remember uncountables are those things that i cannot count and why is that important well imagine that i'm describing my city in my city, there are some things that I can count. For example, schools. Can I count the schools in my city? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How many schools do you have in your city? Um, two. Two. Only one. Only one. Three. Three. Okay. How about police station? Can I count the police stations? Yeah. Only one. Mm. How many do you have in your city? One. one. Only one? Three. Yeah, three. I, there is one. Oh, three. A lot. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, can, can we count the parks? Yes. How many parks do you have in your city? Three. One. Only one? Two. Three. Two. Okay. Cool. Can we count the restaurants? Yes. Yes. Yeah. How many restaurants do you have in your city? Um, one, two, three, 
two, ten. What do you think? A lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot. How about the supermarket? How many supermarkets do you have in your city? Four. Four. Okay. Three. 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 Okay. Five. So, can we count them? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. 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 What yes. else? Can you tell me another thing in our city that we can count? Maybe church. Storage. Grocery stores. Hotel. Drug store. Yeah, the drug store, the hotels. So we can count them. Okay. How about the things that we cannot count? In our city, there are some details that we cannot count. For example, be careful with the microphones. Can we count the pollution? No. Oh. Ah, in my city, there are five pollution. Can I say that? What do you think? No. Not no, really. really. right? We cannot say, but do you have pollution in your city? No. No? A little Not bit? Really. A little bit. Okay. So pollution is uncountable. Okay. We cannot count it. We cannot say one pollution, two pollutions, three pollutions. No, it is not possible. How about the traffic? Can we count the traffic? No. Ah, in my no. city, there are five traffics. Not really, right? So, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Yes, of course. Yes, <laughs> every Monday. Yes, oh, every okay. evening. Oh my gosh. So, look, traffic is uncountable. What about the garbage? Garbage is uncountable. We cannot say one garbage, two garbages. Three, no, it is not possible. We cannot count it. So how about in your city? Is there garbage in your city? Yes? A little bit. A little bit. In okay. Pacific, Croatia. Okay. Uh-huh, and the rest of you guys? Is there garbage in your city? Yeah. Yes? Yes. yes. Unfortunately, right? I think that there are uh, there is some garbage in a specific places too. Now, another thing that is uncountable is the delinquency. Can we count the delinquency? No. No. Not really. Not really. I mean, we cannot say I have one delinquency in my city. No, really. Ah, there are a five delinquency no we can count the crimes i mean ah uh, yesterday there was uh, a murder ah uh, there was we can specify but we cannot count the delinquency and is there delinquency in your city not really my not city really. is very safe that's good <sighs> And before? The rest of <laughs> before you have a lot, but now, yeah, yeah. A lot. sounds good, excellent. I'm happy for that. Now, what is the opposite of delinquency? Security. Security. Can we count the security? No. Not no. really. So we can say that these ones are uncountable. Now, pay a lot of attention here. One of the characteristics of the uncountable nouns is that, uh, well, let me write it like this. The uncountables, they are always in singular. That is something that you have to keep in mind, okay? Uncountable nouns, they are always, listen, always and forever in singular. So if I'm talking about delinquency, 
Can I say, ah, in my city, there are delinquency. What do you think? Can I say there are delinquency? No. 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 What is the correct one? There is delinquency. If there is delinquency. Remember, and this is something that is going to help you a lot. Uncountables, they are always in singular. Understood? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, look at this. I'm going to share a picture. Tell me what you can see. Can you see countables or uncountables? Look at this city. What do we have here? We have a uh, gym. Ah. What do you think, Jean? Is countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 countable yeah. Definitely. How many jeans do you have in your city? Uh, three. One. three. One. Only one. Okay. What else? What else can we see in this city? I see a cafe. A cafe. There are two coffee. Have... Restaurants. They are countable. Supermarket. Apartments. Apartment. You post office. Very good. Now, I see I umbrellas. Umbrellas. Can we count the umbrellas? Yes. yes. Definitely. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Can you see pollution? In this picture? No. 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 Really? really? Can you see delinquency? No. 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 You, Not really, please. right? Can you see some garbage? No. 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 It's a pretty nice city, <laughs> right? It's a perfect city. So neat. It is very neat, definitely. So, today we are going to learn, everybody, and this is the topic for today, we are going to describe places, but now we are going to use quantifiers. That's the topic for today. We are going to learn to use quantifiers. There are different quantifiers that we can use. So we are going to be studying one by one, okay? The first quantifiers that we are going to use are some and any. If you look for the translation, the translation is very similar. Just you have to remember how we can use them. So let's start with the countables. First rule, the quantifiers, if you want to use quantifiers with the countables, you can use quantifiers as long as the countables are plural. If the countables are in singulars, you cannot use them. For example, there are some... Imagine that I'm talking about my city. I can say there are some churches. What is the meaning of churches? Is in singular? Is in plural? What do you think? Plural. Plural. Is in plural. How about you guys? Can you complete the sentence about your city? There are some drugstores. Very good, drugstores. Now, if you say, ah, in my city, there are some a drugstore. Is this possible? No. No. No, it has to be in plural, okay? Uh, what else? Imagine that you want to say, ah, in my city, there is some supermarket is this sentence correct what do you think no no there are no in, in this there case are. you have to keep in mind something 
Look at this one. There is supermarket, singular. So we cannot add the word some. Some is only for plural. Understood? Remember, some is only for countables in plural. So, complete the sentence. Tell me what else do you have in your city? Ah, in my city, there are some restaurants. Okay, restaurants. Some schools. What else? Grocery stores. There are some churches. There are some, can you repeat? I listened to someone else. Grocery stores. Okay, grocery stores. Very good. Oops, oops, oops. So look, plural, all of them. Now, what happens if I want to say it in negative? I want to say the things that I don't have in my city. Easy. I always use plural. But now, instead of some, I will use any. any. So, what is the difference? Some is for affirmative sentences. Any is for the negative sentences. Can you tell me something that you don't have in your city? For example, in my city, there are not any cinemas. How about you guys? Factories. Factories, good. Look at this one. Can I say factory? In my city, there are not any factory? No, because it's in plural. No, it has to be in plural. What else? Something else that you don't have in your city? Malls. Very good. There are not any malls. So, again, the quantifier sum. Can I use sum in negative sentences? Yes or no? No. No. Can I use any in affirmative sentences? No. no. Mm -mm. Can I use some for countables in singular? No. 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 Right? Now, if we go back to the picture, what can we say? Tell me the full sentence. There are some or there are any. What sentence can we say? There are some cinema. There are some? Cinema. Very good. There are some cinemas. If you pay attention, we have one cinema over here and we have another right here. So there are some cinemas. What there else? are some cafes. Very good. There are some cafes. Yeah. There are some restaurants. There are some restaurants. There are some apartments. Yeah. There, there are apartments. some apartments. Mm -hmm. Can I say there are some post offices? No. Why no, not? There is some. It's only there is because it's only one in the service. Exactly. In this case, if you have only one, we have to say there is one post office, okay? So in that case, you cannot say some. How about in negative? What things you cannot see here? What do you think? There's any hospital, maybe? Okay, there are not any hospitals. Can you see hospitals here? No, not no. really. Can you see schools? There are not no school. There are not any any, any schools. schools. There are not any 
police station? Very good. There are not any police stations. Can there you see? Are no, uh -huh. There are not any um, police office. Officers? Officers? Very good. There are not any police officers. Can you see children here? No, there are not any no. children. There are not any children. children. All right. So this is the way that we can use everybody the quantifier sum. If you want to use it with countable, again, the countable is in singular or, or it has to be in plural. 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 If I want to use some, it's only for affirmative sentences. And if I want to say it in negative, what is the word that I need to use? Any. 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 Okay? Understood? Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. Now, what happens if I have something but it's uncountable? Remember the characteristic. The uncountables are in singular or they are in plural? Singular. Singular. The uncountables, they singular. always go in singular. So the rule is the same. Okay. We're going to use some for affirmative and any it's for the negatives. Now, for example, do you know what, guys? In my city, there is some pollution, unfortunately. How about in your city, guys? Can you tell me something that you have in your city about uncountable things? There is some garbage. Garbage, all right. And you guys, what else? There is some security. Ah, that's something positive. There is some security. So if you see all of these things are uncountables. Can I say, I, my city, there is some pollution. Can I say that? No. no. Never. Can I say something like, I, in my city, there are some pollution. Can I say this? There are? No, there is. No, always there is. Now, if I want to say it in negative, do you know what, guys? In my city, there is not any, let me think. I will say delinquency, <laughs> okay? You know, in my city, there is not any delinquency well it is not true but i want to imagine <laughs> how about yours tell me something that there is not in your city uh-huh there is not any what can we say here no ideas mm, there is no any Cinema, probably. I don't know. Cinemas. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Can I say cinema? In this case, remember, can we count the no. cinema? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Instead of cinema, count. we can say maybe entertainment. Can we count the entertainment? No. No. Not really. Yeah. So uh huh. Like as illness. Mm, but illness, can we count the illness? Actually, no. yes, we can count the illnesses. And there is not any corruption. Ah, uh, very good. There is not any, any corruption. Corruption. Uh, uh, I heard someone else. What is your sentence? There is not any corruption. Ah, okay. I, I, I'm I, sorry. I heard that someone else thought. Okay, but I'm going to write it. Look. Oops, oops, oops. So in my city, there is not any corruption. Can we um, count it? No, really. Right? It's uncountable. So 
in this topic, you can say, teacher, how can I know if it is countable or uncountable? Easy, try to count it. If no you can question. say one corruption, two corruptions, not really, right? Yeah. And remember, if we don't have plural form, in that case, is uncountable. For example, can you see the plural for delinquency, like delinquencies? Mm, all right. So if we don't have plural, that means that it's uncountable. Okay. In, what else? I'm sorry. Um, money is uncountable, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Imagine I can say, you know what? In my city, there is not money. We cannot say monies. All right, money is uncountable. Money Let's is... go back. Let's go back to the picture. Look at the city. Now let's create sentence with there is some or there isn't any. What can you say here? Mm -hmm. Can you see pollution? Mm -hmm. So what will be the sentence? I want to say pollution. What will be the sentence here? There, there is, is or there is? There is. There is. There is. There is any pollution. Um, can you see security? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So what will be the sentence? There is. There is some. There is some security. There is some security. Can you see garbage? No, really. No, no, no really. really. So, what will be the sentence? There is any garbage. There isn't any garbage. Um, can you see water in the pool? No. Yes. yes. So, what will be the sentence? There is. There is some water, or any. Water in the pool. There is some, some water. water. Okay. So if you see, this is a way that we can use the quantifiers. Again, some it's for affirmative sentences. We can use some for the countables and also for the uncountables. The only thing is countable, it has to be in plural. Any, on the other hand, it's for the negative sentences. Also, we can use any for questions. So if I want to ask if you have restaurants in your city, I can say, are there... What do you think? This is the sentence and I'm asking, what is the correct one? Can I say, are there some restaurants or are there any restaurants? Any. I will say any because it's a question. The same here. Can I say, is there da -da 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 -da, security? In your city, what is the correct one? Is there some or is there any? Is there any? Is there any, is there any security? So the word any, it's for the negatives and also for the Question. questions. Did you copy the box? Yes. Okay, everybody, copy please. Yes. Okay. Did you copy everybody? Yes. Yes. Can I move to the next slide? Yes. Seguros? Yes. Sure? yes. Okay. Now, let's have a practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences. Do you have to decide what is the correct answer? Okay. Let me oops, open up the exercise. For example, if you see the check, 
That means that the sentence is in affirmative. The sentence says ta, 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 two rivers. Can I count the rivers? Yes. 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 Okay. So can I say there is or there are? There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are. Okay, if it is affirmative, can I say there are a two rivers, there are some, or there are any, or what do some. you think? Some. 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 There are? Some. Well, in this case, look at this one. If I already have the number, do I need the word some? No. No. Yes. Imagine if I say, look at the example. Imagine that I say, ah, in my city, there are some two rivers. What will be the translation, guys? Hay algunos dos ríos en uh -huh. Does uh -huh. it make sense? Ah, hay algunos dos ríos. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense. We don't say it like that. Remember, if you already have the specific number, you don't need the quantifier. Got it? Understood? Yeah. yeah. Good. How about this one? It's in negative. Beach. What do you think? Beach is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Yes. So can I say there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't? Beach. There is. There is. There is. Negative. Negative. There isn't. Oh, oh. There isn't. There, there isn't. aren't. There Look isn't. at this. Okay. Beach, the word beach is in singular, in singular. or is in plural? Singular. 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 What is the plural? Beaches, beaches. In plural is beaches. But in this moment, it is not in plural, it's in singular. That's why I need to say isn't. So there isn't, now if it is in singular, can I say there isn't a beach, some beach, any beach, or what do you think? Any. 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 Are you sure? Not really. Which? Because it's just one. Maybe A. A. Maybe A. Uh -huh. yeah. A. Are you sure? Yes. 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 <laughs> With your life? No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A. Now remember. Can we use some and any with countables in singular? Remember the box? No. Ah, if the countable is in singular, can we use some and any? No. 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 Remember the rules. Beach. Beach is countable. Yes. But it's in singular. So that's why we cannot use some and we cannot use any. In this case, because it's in singular countable, we use a. What is the translation? There isn't a beach. No hay una playa en... Mm -hmm. In my town. Is there a beach in your town, everyone? No, no. There isn't. No. Okay. no, there isn't. Now, remember that if it is countable, but in singular, we don't use some and we don't use any. Okay, let's remember this. Snow. Snow is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. 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 Okay, the sentence is in affirmative. Can I say there is or there are? 
There, there is. is. There is because it's uncountable. Contable. Okay, can I use a? There is a snow? No. No. So, no. Ah, what is the correct one? Some. Some. There is some no. snow. No. Very good. Can I use any in this sentence? No, because no. it's affirmative. Good. I cannot use it because the sentence is in affirmative. Any is only for negative and questions. How about this one? Negative. I'm talking about mountains. Mountains is countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 Look, is in singular or in plural? In plural. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the correct one? There aren't. There aren't. Um, there aren't. Can I say there aren't some? No. No. Okay. Any. There aren't any. 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 Can I say there aren't a? No. No, because it's plural. Plural. Okay, now you are understanding better. That's great. Okay. How about this one? Traffic. Uncountable. Correct. So can I say affirmative? There is or there are? There is. There are. There is. Mm, there is or there are? There is. There is. Good. Yeah. Okay. So if it is affirmative, can I say there is a traffic? No. 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 So no. Can I say no. there is any traffic? No. 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 Because it's positive. Ah, so what is the correct one? So. No. Good. In my city, there is some traffic. traffic. Very good job. Okay, negative. Stadiums. Stadiums is in affirmative. Is, I'm sorry, countable or uncountable? Contable. Contable, yes. So, if it is negative, can I say there isn't or there aren't? There aren't. There aren't. There aren't. Aren't, because it's plural. Remember it. Can I say there aren't a stadiums? No. 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 There aren't some stadiums? Oh, no. Any. Mm -mm. The correct one is? Any. 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 Very good Any. job. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask individually. Let me pick someone. Da -da 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 -da. Wendy. Oh, Wendy's listener. I'm sorry. Okay. Melvin Alejandro. Hello, Melvin. Hello, teacher. Okay, Melvin, what will be the sentence here? I'm talking about late, affirmative. Mm, is countable. Mm -hmm. mm, there are. Okay, there are. Uh, some lakes in my town. Good job, very good. Melvin, pick someone, please. Germán. Mm, Germán. Hello, Germán. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about amusement parks. Amusement park is countable or uncountable? Park. Countable. Okay, is in singular or plural? Singular. Okay, negative. What would be the sentence? There are not. Mm, no, there, there isn't. Not. Okay, there aren't or there isn't? There isn't. Okay, <laughs> there isn't. Uh huh, and then? And. And. Yeah. Good, that's the one. There isn't an amusement park. Very good. Herman, pick someone, please. Um, Mario. Okay, hello, Mario. Hello, teacher. 
Okay, Mario, tell me. Okay. Mall is countable. Okay. Is in singular. So there is a mall in my town. Very good. That's excellent. Thank you. Mario, pick Thank someone, you. please. Victor. Hello, uh, I am sure Victor, I think that he's listener. Alan. Alan. Hello, Alan. Hi, teacher. I'm talking about I'm the talking about Alan. the zebra. Um there Aaron. Okay. And it's countable, so some are uh, there any any zebras in my town? Good perfect. So look at this one. Zebras countable. So it's in negative. That's why we say there aren't any zebras a very good job so everybody is it clear the way that we can use some and any yes 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 do you have any questions so far not really are you sure yes, yes. exam yeah yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah <laughs> Okay, I'm going to share with you some sentences, okay? So we got here sentences using some and any, okay? Again, I'm going to ask individually, only the person I ask, only that person answers, please. Um, Sofia Margarita, hello, Sofia. Hi, teacher. Sofia, sentence number one. There aren't some or any help. Any help? There aren't any help? All right. And if I'm talking about help, can I say aren't? What do you think? Oh, no, because it's in singular. Mm. So, help. Can we? But the help, it's uncountable. Good job. So, what will be the correct sentence? There is there is negative. Yeah. Yes, there isn't any any help. Very good job. That's the correct one. Okay, Sophia, pick someone, please. Okay. Um Reina. Thank you. Hello, Reina. Hello, teacher. Reina, do you know any or some Americans? Any? Do you know any American? Why? Why do we use any? Because it's a question. Good job. It's a question. Remember, any, it's for negative, but also for questions. Good job. Reina, pick someone, please. Mm, Jocelyn. Thank you. Hello, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. We need some or any coffee. Mm. Maybe some. Some. Why? Why do you think that is some? Because it's positive. Good job. That's it. Pick someone, please. Um, Odilia. Thank you, Odilia. Number four. What would be the sentence? Some or any? Teacher, I I am a sip. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, she has um um okay. She has some interesting friends. Good job. That's the correct one. If you see, she has. That is affirmative sentence. Okay, Adelia, can you pick someone, please? Kenya. I'm sorry? Kenya, Carolina. Kenya, thank you. Kenya, number five. What will be the answer here?
example. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah, but I'm Kenya Maribel, not Carolina. Sorry. Ah, okay. Go ahead. Answer. No worries. <laughs> okay. I think is uh, I didn't have any breakfast today. Any. Very good. Can we count the word breakfast, everybody? No, really. In English, we cannot say breakfasts. Doesn't exist. So this is uncountable, is negative. So I didn't have any breakfast. Okay, I have another Carolina. Carolina, can you hear me? Yes, coach. Okay, Carolina, number six. What will be the answer? She hasn't done some or she hasn't done any? He hasn't done any work for 10 years. Very good job. Excellent. So everybody, remember, some, it's for affirmative sentences. Any, on the other hand, is for negative or questions. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Now, can I use some for countables in singular? Yes or no? No. 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 I can use it only if they are plural. Yeah. Another question. Can we use uncountables in plural? What do you think? No. 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 They are always in singular. Singular. Excellent job. Okay. Any questions so far? Everyone? No. Are you sure? Okay, now we are going to see and study the quantifiers little by little, okay? So right now we already studied some and any, and look at this, it's time to speak. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yeah. Yes. yes. Good, okay. I want you to think about your cities. Okay, think about the place where you live. You have to describe your city. You can describe the positive and also the negative things. Okay, all the things that you can find in your city. You have to use quantifiers. In this moment, the only quantifiers that I want you to use is some and any okay the idea guys is describe your city and try to convince your classmates to visit your town for example i can say well do you know what guys um i live in a small town its name is el rosario right oops 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 and uh, well in my city you know there is one supermarket, okay? Can I use some in this sentence? Yes or no? No. No, because, because supermarket it, uh, is? Countable. Exactly, countable in singular. So there is one supermarket, but uh, in my city, there are some drugstores. <laughs> so if you get sick, don't worry. You have a lot of options. Um, in my city, there are some churches too. Um, there are, oops, there are some parks and they are very beautiful, you know? Uh, what else? Well, my city is very small. <laughs> Um, oh, in my city, there isn't any delinquency, so you will feel very safe here, okay? Um, 
there isn't any pollution, okay? In my city also, guys, there isn't, well, I don't remember another positive. <laughs> well, there aren't any malls, unfortunately, we don't have it. Um, and there aren't any cinemas. So I don't have a lot of options here, but it's a beautiful city, okay? Look, I'm telling you positive sentences using some. I'm telling you some negative sentences using any with the uncountables and also with the uncountables. So this is the way that I want you to describe your city. The idea, guys, is that you can use some and also any. Is it clear, the speaking practice? Yes? Yes. Everybody, are you sure? Yes, teacher. Can you explain me the activity, please? What are we going to do? Uh-huh. We have to describe yep. our town. We have to describe and any. Good job. Exactly. So that is what we are going to do. Describe your town. Say the positive and negative aspects using some and any. Is it clear? The activity? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm sending the instructions on WhatsApp's group. Right now, we'll go to the breakup rooms and we are going to listen to our classmates. I want to everybody participate, okay? For the ones that are new, um, you are going to receive an invitation to join to the breakup rooms. So accept the invitation and you are going to appear in the room so you can practice with your classmates. This counts as participation. So um, every time that we go to the breakup rooms, I can see the ones who participate and the ones who don't participate. Okay, so everybody enter to the breakup rooms. Let me create it. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. Okay, everybody, let's go to the breakup rooms and pay attention to your classmates because when we come back, I can ask you, for example, I can say, okay, Herman, tell me about your classmates. Where do they live? What do they have in their cities? Okay, let's go to practice, everyone. Enter. Go ahead right now. I send the invitations. Enter, please, to the breakup rooms.
Okay, time's up. I have a question. Go ahead. Noisy is uncountable or countable? None of them, because noisy is an adjective. The word will be noise. Ah, okay. In this case, if? Uncountable. Oh, thank you. Yes. All right, how was the practice, everybody? Easy, difficult, 50-50? All right. Oh, actually, look at the, I'm sorry, Catherine. I just verified the dictionary and it says that it's countable noises. So you can noises. count it. That's new oh, for me, yeah. So, okay, sorry. thank you, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Okay, everyone, did your classmate describe uh, their cities? Positive and negative aspects? Yes. Did you understand what your classmate said? Yes, almost the time. Okay. Did your classmate use correctly some and any? Yes, most of the time. Most of the time. Did your classmate speak in Spanish? No. Ah, beautiful. And the rest of you guys, did your classmates speak in Spanish? No? Full English? Yeah. Are you sure? 99%. <laughs> ah, come on. <laughs> Remember that I entered to the rooms and I can listen to you. Now, listen, something really look good that I really like is to see that everybody was participating. So nice job something good i was listening that you were trying to use correctly some and any perfect now um something that i really like too is the way that you were trying to help each other sometimes i listen that some of your classmates make mistakes but you try to help and you say no that is not the correct one the correct one is ta -ta 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 -ta. and that's good mm -hmm. okay remember that we are a team so we have to help each other this is not a race like just me i'm the only one who is going to learn no we are a team okay so you are doing excellent now let's talk about the feedbacks there are some details that we need to consider these are some sentences that i was listening to in the groups tell me if they are correct or not for example there are some church. Is it correct? Churches. In plural. Reddit churches. Ah, yeah. Yeah. We need to say churches. Remember, everybody, if we are going to use some countables, but in plural, never in singular. What is the pronunciation of this word? Nearby. 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 Okay. Um, sometimes we can say nearby, but no, it's nearby. Nearby. Look at the next sentence. In my city isn't any delinquency. Is it correct? No. Mm -hmm. Because there isn't in any. You miss, no, it's not correct. You miss the word. Hey, there. There. Yes. Remember, everybody, the verb is there is or there are. If you omit this verb, mm -mm, that is not correct. Okay. So in my city, there isn't any delinquency. The rest of the sentence is totally correct. Okay. In my city, there is not any rivers. Or because it's, no, it's, 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 it's plural. River, river is so we need to there say are, they are, there are, are, there are not any not rivers. Ah, in my city, there is some church. It's the first one. I think it's, it's, it's missing the plural. One, Mm. But you can a, a, you can a, the a imagine or put some and uh -huh. okay but hold they on are. imagine in this case the verb to be is correct because 
church is in singular. What happens if I want to say that in my city there is only one? You don't um, use some because it's only one some. church. Uh huh. So what uh, is the correct one? That is a there church. is a church. Ah, ah, look at this. Imagine that in your city there is only one. Perfect. There's no problem. You can say it. In my city there is a church. There is only one. It is not necessary to say the word some. Now, in my city, there is some park. This is the same example. What happens if in my city, I just have one park? What is the correct sentence? There is a park. Look, in my city, there is a park. Remember, if it is countable in singular, we don't use the word some um there isn't any cinema cinema is comfortable i think is mm -hmm. but in what? this case countable in singular can i say any or do i need to say no. ah 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 yeah uh, so there, is is a cinema. Cinema. there isn't a cinema but look at the next one because it's pretty similar. In my city, there aren't any cinema. What is missing here? The F. The letter the F. 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 Ah, good job. So look at the contrast. If you are going to say a countable in singular, tell me the word A. Ah. If you are going to tell me a countable in plural, well, tell me the word any that is the difference um in my city there aren't any garbage there isn't because there garbage isn't. Is there isn't. it's uncountable we say isn't in my city there isn't any garbage very good okay now let me pick some of you that are going to tell us about your town let me pick someone. Carolina Flores. Hello, Carolina. Hello. Carolina, where do you live? San Jacinto. San Jacinto, very good. Tell us about your city. I know. Okay, wait. Okay, um, where in my city is very small. So, um, but uh, there are some drugstores. Um, there are some schools also. And, um, um, there isn't <laughs> any river. There isn't any rivers or there aren't any there rivers. Aren't. Any rivers? Okay. Um, there isn't any cinema? There isn't any cinema or cinemas? Cinema. All right. The, remember, there isn't or there aren't because it's plural. If you want to add the word any, it has to be in plural. Well. There aren't any Cinema. cinemas. Very good. Okay, thank you, Carolina. Very good. Carolina, pick one of your classmates. Pick someone. A victim. Catherine. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hi. Where do you live? I live in Ilopango. All right. Tell us about your city. Okay. Mm, there are some churches. Mm -hmm. There are some schools, there are some drugstores, and there aren't any museums. Um, let me check. There is some security. Nice. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Catherine. Pick one of your classmates. Okay, uh, let me check. Carolina Menjibar. 
Thank you, Carolina Menhira. Tell us, where do you live? <laughs> Carolina, yes, where do you live? Uh, El Paraíso Chalatenango. Ah, Chalatenango, sounds good. Tell us about your city. Okay, Um, there are some beautiful parts. There aren't any movies and any cinemas, but uh, there isn't any pollution and any traffic. There is not any del delinquency. Uh, there are some restaurants. There is a church. Good. Did you listen? Any traffic? I think that that's the only city, right? Without traffic. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Carolina. Pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, uh, Herman. All right, Herman, where do you live? Hello, uh, I live in uh, San Salvador. Tell us about your city. Okay, in my city, um, there are some pharmacies. There are some uh, schools. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, parks, yeah. Actually, no, uh, currently there isn't any delinquency. Um, there are some small uh, molds. Okay. And what about the how about the traffic? Uh, there isn't. Uh, there isn't. Oh no no yeah yeah, <laughs> there is such uh traffic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good sounds good. Thank you, Herman. We have one more minute. Pick someone, Herman. Um. Uh. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, where do you live, Jocelyn? I live in Santana City. Oh, Santana, tell us about your city. Well, I think that Santana is a very beautiful because there are many places to many places to visit. Um, for example, there are many restaurants, there are many parks, there are five universities. Um there is some traffic and currently there is um some security as well okay That's it. sounds good thank you jocelyn very good if you pay attention jocelyn used another quantifier that is many so some and any that is not the only quantifiers that we have we have more quantifiers unfortunately today we don't have more time tomorrow we are going to continue studying the next quantifiers we need to learn the difference between a few a little a lot many much and we're going to continue studying the quantifiers i know that this topic can be a little bit confusing Okay, so my recommendation, if, if you didn't understand the topic very well, remember that you can always review the class, okay? In the description of WhatsApp's group, there is the link for our playlist on YouTube where you can find the class and you can watch it again. Now, just give me some minutes because I need to upload it, the video on YouTube and that sometimes takes some minutes, okay? Now, do you have any questions, everybody, before leaving? Okay, yeah. No questions? Okay. okay, so everybody, thank you so much for being in the class. I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember, connect on time because we need to be very careful with our attendance. So everybody, have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.